Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's a bit of an odd day today, um, somewhat sad, something, somewhat exciting. Um, when I started this channel, I never really intended it to become a gear channel. In fact, I started it purely in order to uh, practice editing. And I started by um, just filming some gear reviews for Pentax stuff that I happened to have around as a primarily Pentax shooter. So there was never intention for this to become a Pentax related channel. I simply picked that because I didn't think there was a lot of gear um, reviews on Pentax stuff on uh, YouTube. And I thought I'll put together some reviews, leave them up there, standalone videos, no intention to really build a channel, just because I thought they might be useful for other Pentax users. Um, today though, I am um, now at the point where I am here in the studio with the intention of photographing, weighing and packing up all my Pentax gear as I am finalizing my switch to Sony. Now, that's not me in any way dissing Pentax. I have a great deal of affection for the Pentax brand and I think they're making all the right moves right now. I think their intention to become a premium um, brand as the only seller of DSLRs left in the market in a couple of years is the right one. But I am not the right target market for that. Um, what I found is that I personally um, haven't, expect, haven't experimented with Sony and there's a link I'll put on the screen to that, the video where I compare Pentax and Sony and my experience as a portrait photographer. Um, that means Sony's just a better tool for me at this point in time. Um, I'll always have um, an affection for Pentax, um, but this channel is going to change moving forward. There's going to be no more Pentax reviews because I'm getting rid of my Pentax gear. Um, I won't take down the previous videos because they're well watched, so they're obviously useful to somebody. Um, but as I said, when I started making those gear reviews, there was no intention for this to become a channel as such. Um, it was only during the lockdown that I started to expand things. Um, and I intend to keep the channel going. Um, there will, of course, be the odd gear review and a little bit of information about gear. But the intention is not to make this a gear channel. Um, although they're the least watched videos, I'm probably going to focus more and more on the educational content. I, as a photographer, am always striving to become a better photographer than I was before. Um, and I love the engagement with people who feel similar ways. Um, so that's where the channel's going. Um, so all my Pentax gear will initially be listed for sale on the Facebook um, Pentax Rico Photography Sales Group. I'll put a link on the description below and on the screen. Um, if it doesn't sell there, then I'll move it on to eBay. Um, but I would rather sell it in the Facebook group to uh, genuine and Pentax enthusiasts rather than people who just see something and think it's a, a bargain. Um, I, as many of you know, I am the admin on quite a lot of um, Pentax groups on Facebook. I will be resigning my position as the admin of all those groups um, once my gear is fully sold and there's been a little bit of a transition for the other admins to take over the bits and pieces I've been doing. Um, so I just don't think it's appropriate for me to continue to be the admin um, while no longer actually shooting with the brand. Um, if after listening to that, you feel you want to unsubscribe because you only subscribe to this channel because you um, shoot Pentax and want Pentax gear and Pentax reviews, then um, go ahead. Um, absolutely no hard feelings, I totally understand. Um, but if you'd like to stay in touch, there's always the comments section and uh, you'll see me around on photography groups, etc. online. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.